Hi, I'm Chuck. I'm going to um, show you sort of my con contribution to this Bedini uh, Bodkin circuit. Um, so here is uh, this little yellow box has uh, the Bedini circuit in it with the 293055 transistor. Uh, we got uh, a capacitor here instead of um, a battery to be charging up. We have a 12 volt main battery. Um, we've got the uh, automotive coil and a fan. Now, my fan is really crudely made and it's kind of falling apart. It might not work yet, but uh, we'll give it a shot. So, the, the coil here is disconnected right now. Uh, and um, I'll just show the Bedini thing working. Whoa, see? Falls over. There we go, Bedini. Now um, I'm going to connect up the coil. This is connected up to the positive of the bat main supply battery and the and the collector coming out of the Bedini circuit, collector of the transistor. Okay, so now the motor will stop, and we got some light. Now here's here's what's interesting. Um, I made this really crude spark gap here, and this spark gap will take you from the output of this coil across a light, an AC light, and then uh, and then all the way to ground, which is uh, basically the sink here. And if we uh, use this as a spark gap, oops, not very good focus here. You'll notice that the light gets much brighter, so. The, uh, the arcing across a spark gap really does an interesting thing in terms of resonance and increasing the brightness on this bulb. So um, Bedini talks about uh, catching transients and, and wanting a lot of transients. Um, and so this yields a much brighter light. Now, one thing I want to warn you about all this stuff is um, I'm using a screwdriver here, which is has a nice insulation. Um, but standing around barefoot like this is probably a dumb idea. And everything in this circuit has a lot of AC on it, even the primary battery. And I grabbed the the negative clip here with my hands, and if I if I happen to touch the contact, you get majorly zapped. So even coming into this main 12 volt primary battery, there's a huge amount of AC. And if you take your meter, if you take one of these digital meters here and try to measure across this 12 volt battery, you will mess up your meter. Your meter, your meter goes, uh, will display all eights and flash. And so um, there's just basically AC throughout this whole thing. And there's even a skin effect. So you might e even by touching some of the plastic, you might even get zapped. Um, so you don't want to be barefoot and you want to be very cautious. Um, uh, um, one way to sort of avoid trouble here is short out the spark gap. Let's put the screwdriver across here. You'll notice the light goes, it's, it's, it's glowing, but it's a little bit dimmer. And now I can remove this without getting zapped. So be careful with this stuff. There's some interesting phenomenon happening. Bye.